previously we um, created the uh, snap error replication from for the volumes and we did the failover fail back test for the volumes now we can do a uh, snap mirror testing for the svm or we can say it v server and uh, netapp does support different tenants can run on different two different sites so because of that flexibility they gave us snap mirror so in our scenario what we are going to do we will be replicating if you will see right now in both the clusters here we have three S SVMs and in DIA we have one SVM so once we'll start replicating there will be another SVM on the DIA side so which will get automatically created of course so let's begin so in dia now i'm going to create another policy to replicate create right now the new one finally i can go in my local policy policies i can then create one policy for my replication c1 svm async async snap mirror policy okay then and which will be replicating early it's fine because we'll use the manual update to do the in the testing so we'll keep early and uh, and one key feature we can copy the uh, source SVM's configuration like uh, we can exclude the ne network interface and it is used for the environment where L2 send, uh, L2 layer of switching is not ex extended and in DR the interface will retain different IP as compared to what we have in the PR the lift will have different ips to access from here so we'll use exclu exclude network interface and the environment where l2 is extended and we have uh, we can use same ip segment in the dr as well we can use include both network and protocol so like if broadly saying like if your network is distinct and it is in remote location and where the l2 connectivity is not at all possible go with the exclude network interface and if uh, you are in in the same l2 layer you go with the including all interface and protocols and uh, this is of course if we want to exclude protocols and then network information it will only replicate a few of the root volume of svm and all that configuration as of now i'm going to include all and what it will do it will make one side interfaces at one side passive other side active so i'm just going to create this policy for my svm i created this policy now i have to create a protection from my uh, for my PR to DR this is my uh, v server or storage VM 
which need to be moved for uh, need to be replicated from the PR to DR and uh, I'm just going to do the few of the configure to it so that I we could be able to test it out later on. I'm just going to enable the uh, NFS feature for our testing purpose. Okay. We will navigate to the re relationship. In the relationship, what I am going to do, I am going to protect the storage VM from source I'm going to choose my C1 SVM3 so I'm just going to give a one name C1 SVM3 destination yeah will list out complete information and sorry I haven't selected my policy so I'll choose the policy which I have created in the DIA Okay. I have selected the policy which I have recently created for the SVM and now I will select my SVM which need to be migrated. okay seems like uh, internet is slow that's why it's not picking up the information perfectly it is taking time so now this relationship has been built snap mirror relationship So we can easily see the difference like here we have the wall information which we created earlier the, that replication for our testing purpose and here we are replicating complete SVM so it is getting initialized so we'll just wait for this to get properly transferred and we'll, it will take few minutes to get transferred from PR to DR and PR, PR is my cluster 1, TR is my cluster 2 so uh, often I will exchange the terminologies cluster 1 to PR and cluster 2 to my DR and see the another SVM is getting created over here this is because of the relationship because it has been replicated from PR to DR and we are doing SVM base replicating from PR to DR and it is success I can just update once again from PR to dr once again i'm singing and i can go over here in my vm so here you can see this is right now it is in stop state but it is protected
so let's go in setting and just to contrast like what exactly that particular option did when uh, we were we check box that statement in the policy saying that we are including the interface and the data protocol so just to showcase interface show my v server c1 as frame 3 we can see it is up to up and up here and if we run in dr it has same it got same ip but it is down if uh, we have uh, discarded the network then the thing is like it won't be same and we uh, administrator have to configure manually the ip for the dr side so only then that is the difference now uh, and since nick is down i cannot access the nfs so let's see the volumes which has been created on this svm so uh, i'm just going to filter it out i'm focused on my svm3 SPM3. So these are the volumes which are replicated. And let me show the type as well and mount path. So we can see everything is read right here in the production uh, and it is protected and the volumes in the DR I'm just going to enable the mount part and this and going to filter with the SVM3 which we are replicated for br 2 dr so that it could be easy for us to see these are the three volumes which are created among that is a router as well and see all these volumes are protected Okay.